think Montefiore Hospital, especially the Children's Hospital at Montefiore, has a really special mission. We want to combine the scientific rigor of a top-notch academic medical center with our roots as a community hospital. We have a really strong relationship with the community that we find ourselves in, and we feel really strongly that it's important for us to deliver cutting-edge, top-notch medical care to the kids who live here. Currently, children who have high-risk solid tumors like Ewing sarcoma or high-risk neuroblastoma are treated with really intensive chemotherapy, also with either surgery or radiation or sometimes both. One of the innovations that we're bringing to Children's Hospital at Montefiore is the use of reduced intensity haploidentical bone marrow transplantation for kids with high-risk solid tumors. And the idea is that the patients with these tumors, the tumors have grown and caused them problems despite their having an immune system. And their immune system has probably allowed this to happen because it's been weakened by all of the chemo and radiation that the patients have. Our thought is that by replacing the patient's immune system with a fresh immune system that hasn't been damaged by chemotherapy and hasn't been trained to recognize the, the tumor as something that should be there, we'll have a nice platform for allowing immunotherapies to have a greater chance of success for these children for whom other treatment modalities really haven't brought much promise. Sickle cell disease is a chronic blood disorder that was first described more than a hundred years ago. Unfortunately, while we know a lot about the molecular biology and the pathophysiology of the disease, there are very few treatments that are FDA approved to treat this disorder. Sickle cell disease has a tremendous impact on a patient's quality of life. It can cause completely unpredictable episodes of pain that can be so severe that the patient ends up in the hospital for many days at a time. It affects multiple organs, causing organ failure and a shortened lifespan. Since 2014, our transplant program has taken huge leaps and bounds. We have brought in new technologies and therapy modalities to treat bone marrow transplant. We've taken out the question mark with respect to donor inavailability for our sickle cell patients by doing T-cell depleted haplotransplants. We've engaged our nurses in ways that programs strive. We've integrated our palliative care team from the very start, and we've really built a community around transplant here. In regards to sickle cell patients, because unfortunately with the disease, they're frequently coming back to the hospital to be admitted. So a lot of times we get to know the patients throughout the year, and we develop a rapport. At Montefiore, we care. We care about the well-being of the patients and the families, and we care that we can help people have a better life. Before undergoing a transplant, like, it was very hard for me to do, like, normal stuff, like, play sports, because, you know, I will always have to worry, like, if I do too much activities, I might get sick in the morning or, you know, feel pain. My experience with transplant, it was, like really rough at the beginning because the first one didn't work. And I got my second transplant so then I could eat a little bit more better and was healing faster. I felt better, more positive. I think it changed me looking at stuff differently. Levon's story is remarkable. He was on doses of opioids that my colleague who's the director of pain management would shudder when I told her how much pain medication he was getting during the transplant. And now he's off all opioids and pain-free. That is a success story that it makes me very happy. It gives me great hope. I think the Children's Hospital at Montefiore has a very bright future. We have a recent infusion of top quality physician scientists and a very collegial environment that's ideal for translating the ideas that our physician scientists have into new therapies for the children in our neighborhood, in the New York metro area and beyond. There's a tremendous resiliency in children. No matter how sick they are, they remain positive and forward thinking and optimistic and playful. And that environment is infectious and it permeates the children's hospital and helps make us want to get up and come to work every morning. When I grow up, I want to be a physician assistant like Danielle at the Children's Hospital at Monteverdi.